Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry Ken. Welcome back to Last Generation 12. So the new update is here. We have new icons for the carrots. We also have a brand new event, this Leprechauns event. It has just begun. And uh, yeah, we're gonna hop in and we're gonna see what this event is all about. I try to stay away from spoilers. I don't really know much about this event. It says that I have to go home and there's like some sort of a rainbow source. So let's hop in. I try to stay away from spoilers. However, I've seen some comments. I went on Discord and people aren't too happy with this event. Some people are saying that this might be the worst event <laughs> that Last on Earth has ever had. And maybe it is the worst event. I have no idea. Talk to Jolier. So let's talk to this dude at the base and let's see what this dude has to say. Welcome. Uh, rainbow's looking quite magnificent today, isn't it? I don't see a single rainbow. You haven't seen it. Look up into the sky. I can't look up. Hurry or, or it'll disappear. Go to the rainbow location. Okay, so before we go out there, how about I get like some sort of a melee weapon? Right, and let's go to that location. Do we need anything else? I don't think so. We have two blocks and unless we need more, I'm going to get a minigun. Definitely, we don't need that many items. I just always like to go prepped. I always like to go outside ready when we have these new events. And uh, that's it. Oh, so... Uh, to those that have just joined, we have new carrots here. We have uh, these carrots. They look a little bit different. We have the new texture for these carrots. We have a new texture for water bottles. And the gunsmith bench is a little bit smaller. Instead of being 2x2, two two, it's 2x1. Two and yeah, in about almost two weeks, we should get another event, the Easter event. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. That was the, the update, kind of. We still don't know much about the Easter update. But the rainbow location event, the leprechauns event, we are about to do it right now. Hello, I've spent 20,000 caps and got nothing. So the rumors are true. I tried my best to stay away from spoilers. Ooh, there's a rainbow here in the limestone ridge. So I try to stay away from the spoilers. But uh, a lot of people are saying that in order to beat this event fully, you need to have 15,000 caps. Some of you are now in the chat saying that you need 20,000 caps, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Who on earth has that amount of caps is beyond me. This is this is insane. I think this event might be the worst event they've made, says uh, God's abortion, maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. Okay, find rainbow traces. Let's get perhaps a katana. And let's find those rainbow traces. How many caps are we going to get from this event? Maybe we're getting like thousands and thousands uh, caps. Maybe. Maybe we'll get thousands and thousands of caps from this event. Or maybe not. So what is your opinion about the event? Ladies and gentlemen, do you like it? I haven't even played it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. From what people are saying, the general consensus is that this event is very bad. But we'll see. Maybe everybody's wrong, right? Maybe this is an amazing event. I don't know about y'all 600 caps and I got 500 points. Okay. I didn't even know there was an update. Yep. The update is here. So where are the rainbow traces? I don't see anything. Am I getting scammed or something? How do I see those rainbow traces? What's going on? Well, I'm just going to go back and forth and maybe I'll find something interesting here. It's a horrible event, says Kagagorin. Well, we're about to find that out. If people are saying that this is a horrible event, this must be a horrible event because most of the time we'll get like a meh event and it'll still be all right. Okay, so this dude is... Kill the greedy. Okay. Let's just shoot this guy before he runs away. What do we get here? 141 caps! All we need now is just... What else do I need? Th uh, tens of thousands of more caps. And then we'll be able to beat that event. So that's it. There was only one dude that I had to kill. He had 140 caps. And now we have to go to the gas station. Hmm... I spent 1,500 caps with no jackpot. I do have a couple of caps at the base. Do I need to bring my caps? Whatever, we'll bring those caps later. It doesn't matter. Let's go now to the gas station. We'll see. 
what that dude has to say there. It's kind of possible to get Clover if you bet 10 first, then increase your bet to 30, 40. Then you can get Clover, then lower it back to 10. But don't bet high, we'll lose more caps fast. I speak truly. Yes. So you do need a lot of caps to get all of the rewards. And uh, what does that last slots machine even do? That broken uh, machine. Does it do anything useful? I have no idea. You can get two of these inspector cards. Also, you can get these special forces packs. And I think from, this spe from these special forces packs, you can get a guaranteed tactical backpack. So there's that. You can also get two red violer puppies. So maybe at least getting this, you can get a tactical backpack. But for that, you'll still probably need like 5k caps. It's a lot of caps. It is a ridiculous amount of caps. Okay, so I got to talk to this guy. I thought I might go great by the time you turn up. You've got loads of caps. Put them in the slot machine. My luck will be on your side. Okay. We got here 2k caps already. So let's start auto spinning. And what? Are we going to get a guaranteed jackpot? He says we have to play up to 100. There we go. We did it. Return to the rainbow. It said I won nothing. We have to return back to the rainbow. How's your luck? I've got something else here. You've been waiting for a rainbow for a while now, huh? I can return it. Return to the rainbow. The rain might end soon. A rainbow will show up afterwards. Uh, let's re return the rainbow. Kill greedy. So let's chase the leprechaun again. That's it. Greedy resets like every two hours, three times or something. Then more time. Wow. Special beer increases the number of caps for killing greedy. If you drink, you'll get 35% more caps uh, from the greedy. Disappears in five days. Then we can get this patty's hat. I knew that we had it. Six box! Oh, Lord. Where's the greedy? Okay, so this time greedy is in this uh, location in the pine grove. Pine bushes? Whatever. Let's go there. Hundred thirty-eight, hundred thirty-nine, forty-one, and forty-eight caps. Then eighteen hours later, you can start again. So, how many caps did I get last time? I did it and write it down. Wait, I want to open up the notepad. I have no idea how many caps I've got in there. Maybe somebody can tell me. But I'm gonna write down the second time how many cap how many caps I've gotten. Did I get hundred and thirty-eight caps? Do you get a random amount of caps? I have no idea. But this is a sad event. 141 caps. Okay, thank you. 141 caps. 141. Let's write that down and let's search for greedy. Oh, Lord. We waited a month, over a month for this. However, we did get new carrot icons. So that's something. Guess that is something. We gotta get... Oh, there we go. There's the dude. How about I just sneak attack this guy? Will he run away? What does he do? Oh, he doesn't fight or anything. He just runs for some reason. We've gotten 136 caps this time. 136. The rainbow will appear soon. So another rainbow appears in two hours. Yikes. Is that it? Wouldn't it be more fun if... Like, this event is bad. Like, no matter how you twist it, it's bad. But wouldn't it be better if there were, like, three or four zombies you could kill and get caps? And each of them, let's say, gave 50 caps. At least you'd have to do more things in the event. Like, you go there, you just kill one guy, and that's it. You get all of the caps. That's the event? Ladies and gentlemen, that is... that. That's the event? Why not, like, give, like, three, four guys in the zone, and they'd give... Caps. You'd have to use more weapons, but at least it would be more fun. I don't know, man. Now I see why people are saying that this update is bad. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe it, ladies and gentlemen. Still, it's a lot of cap com caps compared to other places. That is a lot of caps. I'm not saying that that's not a lot of caps, but that's it. That's the event. 
That's the event, ladies and gents. So I thought these rainbows will be better. I tried to stay away from spoilers, and that's what I have. So let's try to bring more caps back to the base. Let's see how many more caps I have here. I should have caps in some other chest. I'm almost certain about that. There we go. And are we going to spin all of them? You know how long it's going to take us to spin those caps? But hey, that's the, that's the update, right? Somebody has to spin those caps. For 35 gold, you can do it again. Oh, Lord. We got zero gold. Well, we have 30 gold, so I can't even do it again. I can't even get extra 100 and something cap. I had 8k caps and spun them all. We have 2k caps. Can I get more? Do we have more in the inbox? Okay, we have 200k. Uh, just 200 caps, not 200k. Just 200 more caps in the inbox. And that's it. That's all we got. Let's bring that back there. And I have 2k caps. There, I like the event. Some people like the event. So I'm just going to ask you guys, do you like the event? And that's it. Do you like this new event? Yes. No. Uh, I don't know what event. There we go. We have the poll, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to participate here. Check the chest at the VAP. I cannot go to the VAP. In my opinion, it's a nice way to earn some rewards. I mean, it's fine then. Maybe it's a good event. Some people like this event. At the end of the day, as I said, most of the time, the, this game isn't about like enjoying and about gameplay and whatever. It's about loot. And if it gives good loot, it's fine. Like the event might have been just, hey, go to your inbox and collect loot. Like it, they could, they didn't even have to bother with that. They just could have given us like hundred and like two hundred caps every two hours in our inbox, and people would be happy the same way as they are right now. Wait, let's talk to Jollier. Oh yes, we can respawn that thing for thirty-five caps. I see. We have four K caps, ladies and gentlemen. So what can we get with four K caps? I don't know. We'll have to spin and see. Will I be able to get two of these Ride Viler poppies? Maybe. Will we be able to get this guaranteed backpack? Perhaps. Doubt it. I think we'll just get to this level and that's it. We'll get the Ride Viler poppies and I don't think I'll be able to get any other rewards here. So let's just auto spin. Wait, before we auto spin, I want to check the box here. Okay, so it's almost empty. We just got a bunch of boots. Let's start it. It could spin a little bit faster. Like, on auto. So that way it's even faster. Buy the beer, you can get more caps. You can get more caps every two hours. For th you can get 35% more caps. So let's say you get 140 caps. Uh, you get 280 caps every two hours. So you'll be getting, instead of 280, you'll be getting 378. So you can get 100 extra caps. I don't think it's worth it. Maybe it is, I don't know. I don't think so. The tiers or the levels are out of control. I think this event would have been better if you didn't have to have that many caps. I'm curious how many people will be able to do this event. They think it's a good event, but how are you going to do this event? Maybe you'll get some ATV transmissions here. I mean, you kind of need caps, so it's whatever. For $6, just buy the damn caps. Maybe so. Does that rainbow respawn every two hours all the time? Or it only respawns... Uh, it doesn't always respawn every two hours. Okay, we've gotten sadly just a steel plate. No grenade launchers this time. No, it has a limit. Every two hours. Three times per day. So what you can get... Uh... 840 caps every day. It's going to be set after eight hours next. And then the reset timer probably increases. I don't know for sure. It's like 16 hours after two or three. You can get at least a decent amount of caps here, I guess. 
After three times, two hours. After three times, two hours, next is 16 hours. Okay, get it. I see. Oh, but next time you kill it, you won't be able to kill it twice. You'll be only able to kill that dude once. Jackpot should give you clovers. Uh, doesn't it give clovers? I have no idea. I have PTSD from this thing. Because we had to spend ten, tens of thousands of caps to get those ATV transmissions. But it is, but it is. What if we bet higher? You will lose your caps faster. That's about it. Oh, at least we've gotten this grenade launcher. Not too shabby. Have you guys gotten any ATV transmissions? Has any of you gotten an ATV transmission from this event? I mean, it's hard to call it an event because nothing has really changed. If they had moved this thing to somewhere else, you know, I'd, I'd kind of get it. But it's still the gas station. You just get extra caps. So have you gotten any ATV transmissions from, from this last machine? Spin 50? It's stupid to spin 50. Actually, it's very smart to spin 50. Only idiots spin 10. So you can spin 50, Yannis. I am not gonna spin 50, because I'm not that smart. Why people are voting that they like this event? So, 48% of people like the event. 39% of people don't like the event. And 13% of people don't know about the event, or they don't play last generate. So I'm kind of surprised that half of you enjoy the event. But as I said, it's all about the loot. The gameplay in this game doesn't really matter. It's all about the loot. They can give the trashiest event ever. And if it has a little bit of loot, people will be happy. They can also give the best event ever. And if it doesn't have any loot, then it's going to be the trashiest event. So I'm surprised to see that... I'm not really that much surprised that 50% of people like this event. Free cabs, baby. You get 400 caps a day and that's it. And a grenade launcher that we've gotten. New event is something at least. Hey, it's, it's a great. I, I love this event. It's amazing. I got only one ATV transmissions for spending 1k caps. Maybe I got lucky. That's nice. Congrats on your ATV transmission. How's everyone getting so many caps? I only got 2k caps. I mean, that's also a lot of caps. Even 2k caps is a lot of caps. So let's say you can do this even three times a day, but next time, I don't think anybody knows yet. Will you be able to kill that greedy guy only three times or will you be able to kill it six times? So next time when this resets, can you kill that greedy guy twice or can you kill it only once? Because now we were able to kill that greedy twice. But I think next time I'll be able to kill it only once. And I'll be able to kill it only once every two hours. Every two hours, yes. But every two hours you can kill greedy twice or once. Okay, so once. So tomorrow we'll be able to kill greedy three times. So 140 caps times three. So 420 caps per day. And the event lasts for like, what, five more days? That's like 2k caps. Let's say you get like, let's say 2,500 caps. That's what you can get here. 2,500 caps from this event. Um, is that a lot? 2,500 caps, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we get from this event, kind of. In a week, you'll be able to get 2,500 caps, which is a decent amount of caps.
It's like using all of his brain cells. Yep, the brain cells are working at full capacity right now. I don't think it's... Maybe the loot isn't the issue. I also want nice gameplay. I also want something to do in the game. That's nothing. Would be good if it was 20k caps. Yep. So you do get 2,500 caps. Like, that's... I don't know. Last Earth has made people... Thank the devs for the event like this, right? You get uh, 2,500 caps, like 2k caps. 2k, 500 caps in seven days. You get to spin them and you say thanks. Because that's, that's boggers, ladies and gentlemen. That's boggers. And we've got an, a, 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 a grenade launcher. Well, at least we're getting these grenade launchers. Wait, there's another thing that I want to check. So for six bucks, you can get 35% more caps. So let's say you get 2,500 caps times 1.35. You get extra thousand... Uh, you get extra 875 caps for six dollars. So this pack will get you extra 875 caps. Let's say 900 caps for six dollars. And you can just buy 500 caps for $6. So, hey, you are profiting 300 and something caps. Almost 400 caps if you get that pack. Make sure to buy that pack! It's like I can't buy that pack. I have to feed my family. Your family is more important than last on Earth. Sell the kidney. Buy the pack. Buy the pack right now. I'm obviously joking. For those that don't understand, I'm joking. I drank the green bear and got 194 caps from the greedy. Before that, it was 133 or 136. Uh, that's about right. So you can still profit. Like, if you want to get caps, you can definitely get a bit more caps from this event. But it's nice. This event would have been a lot better if devs had notified us in the calendar one month prior. Uh, that too. Absolutely. It's not like everybody has a lot of caps lying around. Why are so many people receiving different amounts of caps from the creature? I got 145 caps and killed them two times. I mean, it's not like they're receiving a wild amount of different caps. Like, some people get 135, some people get 145. It's not like somebody's getting 50 caps and somebody's getting 5,000 caps. Like, plus or minus 10 caps, I don't think that's a huge of a difference. So yeah, I don't mind the event, like, whatever, caps are fine. When you kind of put everything into money, right, you get 2k caps. Wait, let's just put it away. You get about 2,500 caps during this event. 2,500 caps are going to cost you... Um, well, $22, more than... Uh, not really $22, but you got the point. You cannot buy 2,500 caps. You got the point. Let's keep going. A bit less than 22 bucks. Because you can't buy 2,500 caps. You can only buy 1,500 caps. So if you buy 1,500 caps twice, it's like 22 uh, bucks or something. Like 18 whatever dollars from this event. Betting 10k at 10 caps bets will do it. I don't know, if you get lucky, you don't always get the same amount of clovers. 
Some people have spent 15k caps. Some of you said in the chat that you've spent 20k caps. No way you can get this last machine with 4k caps. Nah, it's not possible. It's, you, you, I'm not gonna get it with 4k caps. A scar, perhaps? Nope, just some um, uh, fuel briquettes. Double jackpot, and this time we've gotten the scar. It's nice to get rewards here. So wait, I've spent around 2k caps. Didn't I? I think so. How many caps I had here before I started? 4,500 caps? Let's spend 400 more caps. Is there a chance to meet the big one while doing this event? I have no idea unless the rainbows spawn red zones. I'm not really sure if you can meet the big one in green zones. He can definitely spawn in yellow zones. I'm not sure about green zone. It's very rare. If he does spawn there, it's very rare. I don't think I've seen the big one in green zones. Maybe? I don't remember. I've definitely seen the big one in yellow zones, though. Don't spend your caps, bro. There's test your luck event coming soon. Wait, do you also get the test your luck event? Wait a minute. So we have this event. And where is the test your luck event? You said the test your luck event is coming and we do not have the test your luck event. This is your test your luck event. This is Leprechaun's event. What do you mean test your luck event is coming soon? This is your event. We got the big one three times in a row. What, in a green zone? A meld gold, gold rush. And what's what do caps have to do with the gold rush event? And what are you going to do with the caps on Gold Rush event? I'm kind of confused. The Gold Rush event is coming, but what are you going to do with the Gold Rush event? Gold Rush event. Caps event. <laughs> I can't. Gold Rush gives clovers. Excuse me. Commune has relocated, hoping to put something permanent there for the event. Do you think we're going to get something else instead of the commune event? I don't know. So wait, they removed the commune event and instead of the commune event, we've gotten this thing? I'm a little bit confused. Something could have been different, right? At least they could have increased the chances of, like, getting some loot here. Increased the chances of getting an ATV transmission. Like, we definitely could have get, gotten some more things. This event replaces the normal cap spinning event, that's all. Yep. Okay, that's about it. We've spun... Uh, 2,500 caps. So this is what you can expect to get from the vent, kind of. Two steel plates. Three grenade launchers. That's what I've gotten. I've gotten very lucky with these grenade launchers. So you can get three... I've gotten three grenade launchers. Uh, two scars. And, like, whatever armor and, like, the steel plates. So basically, three grenade launchers and two scars. Again, I have all of the ATV transmissions and the ATV. So maybe that's why I don't get these ATV transmissions. And that's why I probably have different loot. Because some people have different loot in this thing. And uh, the reason why I'm talking about these rewards that I've gotten here, because you're going to get about 2,500 caps from this event in like five, six days. Kind of. And that's what I was able to get here. Clover count. Oh yeah, let's also check the clover count. Kind of did get more clovers. And from this event, if you had zero caps from this event... I was able to get around, yeah, 1,200 clovers from uh, 25, 2,800 caps. 
So I think you should be able to get up here. Right, if you had zero caps, and if all you're gonna do is just do this event, I think you should be able to get these three red Violer puppies. Kinda. Maybe if you get very lucky. And maybe if you had, like, some extra spare caps at home, like, extra, like, couple of hundred. I think everybody should be able to get the red Violer puppy. Maybe everybody is a huge word, but, like, a lot of you should be able to get the red Violer puppy. Poll of results. We have the poll of results here. The poll results are in. 48% of people like the new event. 38% of people don't like the new event. And 14% of people don't know about the event or they don't play last on Earth. So I am a little bit surprised. But at the same time, it's an amazing event, ladies and gentlemen. This event is phenomenal. It has changed my life. Psych, use your brain in Gold Rush event. If you use the gold to reset the Rambo, then you could progress in both events. Supreme Survival. How? What does a Gold Rush event have to do anything with this event? And I got 30 gold here only. What am I going to do during the Gold Rush event? Homie. Psych, use your brain. I think you confused it. You should have said use your wallet, not your brain. I don't care about the Gold Rush event. They could be moving. I couldn't care less about the Gold Rush event or about the cap spinning event. This type of event make me think if Last on Earth is still playable. This type of event and the poll results are the reason why we still don't have the helicopter. If 50% of people like this event, why would developers bother? Adding anything else? Need three more ATV transistors, says Matthew. Well, hopefully you'll get your three ATV transistors. The pay to win is better if you pay to win even harder. Absolutely. They could have brought back the Forlorn Fair event at least. Why not bring back the Forlorn Fair event? I need seven transmissions. Well, hopefully you'll get those transmissions from this event. It's like you're doing it wrong. You should bet 50. It's more fun. I don't like fun. That's why I don't bet 50. However, I do agree. You should bet 50 if you want a lot of fun. But I don't want any fun, so I'm betting 10. It's like, did you know you need exactly 300 caps for jackpot if you spin only 10 caps? That's not actually true. It's different. Sometimes you need 270. Sometimes you need less caps. But on average, you need like 200, uh, 270 caps. Something like that. Well, I consider this event more for endgame players rather than the rest. Actually, this event is more friendly, more beginner friendly than any other event. Like, all you have to do is just go outside, kill the dude. You get, uh, like, whatever, 280 caps a day. You go there, you spin those caps, and that's it. You're done. And then you wait till another day. If you could beat this event with like 2k caps, maybe. But at the same time, I don't even know what is the last reward, what it does. So I don't think the, the rewards from this event are the problem. Like you do get rewards, you get caps. 
It's not like we get a lot of caps from a lot of other things. It's very easy to get these caps. You basically have to almost do nothing. So it's 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 not a bad event. It's whatever. By not a bad event, I, I think the rewards are okay. I'm just more disappointed with the actual like, gameplay. There's like nothing to do during this event. Could have been... They could have kept rewards the same, but they could have added a bit more action. They could have added more things. They could have brought back the... The Forlorn and Fair event, and they could have put this machine in the Forlorn and Fair event. Everything could have been the same thing, but the Forlorn and Fair event could have been around the caps and whatever. You could have gotten some extra caps from the Forlorn and Fair event, plus you could have killed that greedy to get extra caps. And that's it! That would have been the event. It would be kind of the same thing. They wouldn't have to do that much work and at least would have some things to do during the Forlorn Fair event. But here there's like nothing to do. That's the biggest problem that I have with this event. There's like absolutely nothing to do. But as I said, this game is about loot. They can remove most of the gameplay. If you log in daily, you get like stuff in your inbox. People will be happy <laughs> because they get loot and that's it. I was expecting for a skin character and boss killing. Yeah, they could have added at least that skin. We didn't even get that skin, that leprechaun skin. We have 800 more caps to spin. What do clovers do? You can get extra rewards with those clovers. Well, I have 10k caps and this event doesn't motivate me at all. I thought we'll have a boss fight. Yep. Examine caps for marks before flipping. I should definitely do this. Because an idiot. He's just flipping caps without looking at them. You can just look at those caps and you can know which caps to flip. What if you bet more caps? Is there a difference? No. Wait, I don't even know what is the last reward. Whatever the thing is. Um, the broken slots machine. Why do we need it? Do we get caps from it? Will we be able to get 10 caps every day from it? Maybe. So the feature is useless, lol. I mean, you can kinda... Gamble. Like, there you get nothing, you get nothing. Sometimes you can bet now 20, maybe. Okay, got nothing. Let's say I bet 30. And there I was able to get the jackpot on 30. But that was just luck, and I still lost caps. I could have gotten the jackpot on 10. I'll just keep betting 10. It's safer and better. Broken cap machine gets you 40 caps a day. So you get 40 caps a day from that thing. That's not bad. In a year, you can get 14,000 caps from that machine. 14,000 caps. Um, Spin a couple of extra of those things. Wait, look, let's look at the marks. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is the mark. We have to click it. And the scars behind this cap. No, we got nothing. For those that don't understand what I'm talking about, like four years ago or whatever, when they released the ATV, we could spin the caps here, and people kept telling me that you can actually see the the marks on the caps, and you have to look at those marks and you'll know which caps to flip. Mm -hmm. 
And we've got another scar. Pog. So you get 14k caps. You get, ladies and gentlemen, 14k caps. Who told you I'll be playing this game 365 days to get 14k? I have a job, says Amari. It's fine. You do have a job. A lot of people don't, and a lot of people will be able to get 14k caps. So that's about 115 something dollars a year. You get 115 dollars a year. If you log in daily and you get those caps from the broken slots machine, you get 115 dollars a year. So that's about... No, there's no way that... There's no way you're almost getting 10 dollars a day. Forget it. Uh, not a day, a month. In a month, yes, you probably do. So you get about 30 cents every day. That slots machine, that broken slots machine, is bringing you around 30 cents a day. Hmm. That's it! We did it, ladies and gentlemen. So we were able to get like some random items here. We were able to get some grenade launchers. That's nice. However, it's not the event that gave me those things. I already had the caps. So saying, Sayak, you see, this event is amazing. You got grenade launchers. I could have gotten these grenade launchers without this event. That's the whole point. It's not like this event gave me those things. This event gave me these four things, right? I was able to get the special forces packs. But bruh, for that I had to spend like 4,500 caps. That's a lot of caps. For 2k, 800 caps or something, I was able to get two of those Red Viler puppies. So if you play this event for six days, if you log in, you get all of your caps, you should be able to get at least these first three rewards, maybe four, if you get very lucky. But that's it. There's no way I'll be able to get these other rewards. Besides, we are in the month of March, so it's not 365 days. That makes no sense at all. What you just said, homie. 8k caps left? Yep. Uh, 8 caps left, not 8k caps. So let's try to bring these grenade launchers back to the base. <sighs> How much did you spend? Uh, 4,500 caps. Something like that. So you, you get around 30 cents a day. Like rough, quick math, you get around 30 cents a day from... 30 cents worth of caps from this broken slot machine. If you do get 40 caps every day from it. The machine will give you like 25 to 50 caps every day. It's random. Oh, so you don't always get even 40 caps. So you don't even always get 30 cents. Well, it gives you something. Because you need 15k caps to get it. You do need a lot of caps to get it. So after a while, it'll pay off, right? And in a year, it'll pay off. Could have been cool if it was actually cheaper. You need a, an insane amount of caps. There's no way, like, people have that amount of caps just saved up. And maybe somebody would save that stuff up if they had, like, a few months. Perhaps. How many of you have spun their caps yesterday because you didn't know that this event will be a cap spinning event? Or, like, a week ago. I'm sure a decent amount of people have spent their caps. 
quite recently. All right, let's drop this here and let's store the guns in this chest. Hey, guns are nice, but as I said, they're not from this event. Let's drop this and the carrots. Actually, I'll keep those carrots. We'll go somewhere now. We'll clear the transport up. I haven't cleared it yet. It's like I just calculated a year, it gives you 14k caps, and per day it gives you 40 caps. Yeah, but now people are saying that you don't always get 40 caps per day. Sometimes it gives 25, sometimes it gives 50, so different people get different amount of caps. In any case, it is what it is. This event is phenomenal. We get loot, ladies and gentlemen. We get loot. However, I'll, I'll still say it. I don't care about the loot. I care about the content. And this event did br brought zero content. That's the that's the issue. However, who cares about content when you can get caps? Am I right? Yeah, let's try to get those two Rottweiler puppies. Because we got them. Oh, they're level three Rottweiler puppies. Interesting. Let's get one and let's get another one. And let's try to breed them. I'll have to probably watch ads to breed them. Where are they? There we go. Let's watch an ad to breed this dude. Wait, maybe I'm going to feed them. I have a bag of food. A bag of dry food. I wasted 12k caps saved up last week. Oh, you wasted them. You wasted 12k caps last week. That's insane. Where's the dry food? I should have dry food in one of the chests. I think the wrecked ship event is much more good, is better than this event. Maybe it's up to you. Myself personally, this event is phenomenal. It blows my mind. I'm grateful. Uh, dog food. There we go. I knew that we have dog food around there ish. Let's give two bags. I don't think dog food will actually do anything, but. Let's get it regardless. I'm gonna give stack of turkey too. Transport up is more difficult after the update. Wait, what did they change? I think it's the same. Last time I've cleared the the transport up. We're gonna be clearing the transport up today as well. And I don't think they've done anything to it. I think it's the same. All right, let's watch some of these ads, ladies and gents, and. Uh, Let's get it. People are downloading the game for this event. <laughs> Why did they uninstall it? Fact is, this event is for end game players or pay to win. It's not really for end game players. I mean, it depends if you want to get all of the rewards. Then nobody will have like that amount of caps. Even like end game players are not going to have that amount of caps. But even beginners can get 2,500 caps just by logging in daily and getting those caps and getting the rewards and other stuff. Killing those greedy dudes. Okay, this dude is level 3. Let's try to raise another doggo now. This guy. Let's try to skip another. Do you only stream on YouTube now? I've always streamed only on YouTube. Raid this event for you, not for a beginner, says uh, Gods. You can guys raid this event however you want. 
It doesn't really matter what I say. If I say, if I say this event is good, doesn't mean that it's good. If you don't like the event, you don't like the event. If I don't like the event, doesn't mean that you should like the event. Okay, now let's try to breed both of these other doggos. With a true friend, this dog may cause bleeding for 5 HP per second. This would be cool if I breed them together. Do I need to inherit traits? If they inherit traits, can you still get a true friend doggo when you inherit traits? I have no idea. <sighs> this dog finds more resources. Increases the chance of getting a high rank when crossbreeding. Uh, whatever. Let's just do those. Doesn't matter. Oliver. Is this still a level 3 Duggo? Yeah, I think we got that level 3 Duggo anyways. But hey, let's try to raise this Duggo. Let's watch another ad, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, it's like, what... Is the order of when to unlock all transports. What? You unlock the chopper. Then you unlock the drone. Then you can unlock the boat. And then you unlock the ATV. I guess. If you consider the drone as a tr as transport. Which it kind of is. Maybe. Add Sunday for Cyric. Yep. We got another doggo. And uh, boom. So let's try to crossbreed them again. Get him. Is this going to be a level 4 Duggo? Nope. Another level 3 Duggo. Another level 3 Duggo. Let's watch another ad, ladies and gentlemen. What is this purpose to have dogs? If you get a true friend Duggo, you can... Bring it with you. It's like I'm at 100 volume, max volume from headphones. It's not loud enough. You don't hear the... Oh, actually, you can hear the ad right now. I want to say you don't hear the ads. You shouldn't have been able to hear the ads. I forgot to mute the ad. We can hear the ad. Yeah, I forgot to mute the ad. This is a very long ad. Is your microphone alright? The microphone should be fine. The microphone should be... Definitely fine. You couldn't hear the game because it was quiet. But the microphone is fine and we got nothing here. How many more dogs will I have to breed? Okay, let's breed these two ones. Another level three? You gotta be kidding me! However, I'm not really that surprised. How to get different dogs without paying? By playing the game? They're difficult to get. It can become four when it grows up. Maybe. Well, after this ad, we'll find out. React to the ad. I'm not going to be showing you ads, ladies and gentlemen. You already see enough ads. Why would I be showing you ads here? You're fine. My phone, I don't even have volume all the way up. You definitely fixed it. Thank you. It should be fine. Before the live stream started, I checked the volume levels. Everything should be fine. Uh, we got another level 3 doggo with Predator Park. Use the Witty Park. Do I even have any of those Witty Parks? I don't think I have a single doggo with Witty. 
Increases the chance of getting a high rank with crossbreeding. Okay, so we could get this. Okay, let's add these doggos here. Then let's try to use that weighty perk. Maybe it is a good idea. The leader. Another weighty perk. Do I have any more witty guys? I don't think so. Let's say that's all I got. I only got two zombies with the witty park. Let's add one here and let's keep. Oh, this guy is also witty. Cool. Do I need to take it? Do I need to keep it with me? Does it count? I have no idea. Let's keep it here. And let's crossbreed more doggos. Kennel Simulator. Welcome to the Kennel Simulator. Let's try to crossbreed these guys. That's another male. Okay, let's watch one more ad, ladies and gentlemen. This event does not get Sykes approval, goop event. The rewards are fine in this event, but it doesn't have any content. That's the that's the whole point. I'm still surprised to see that 50% of people like this event. Oh my goodness, another level 3 doggo. So let's try to breed them once again. This is the last time when I can breed them. Let's do it. And let's see. Can we get a level four doggo? Or we'll get nothing. Where's that doggo? There we go. There it is. Let's watch one more ad, ladies and gentlemen. The people that like this event like recycling too. Uh, I like recycling. If you're lucky, you'll need to spend 7,500 caps or thousand five uh, or 15,000 caps. Some of you said that you've spent 20k caps. Well, you need a lot of caps. Definitely over 10k caps to finish the event. Use dry food. I'm already using the dry food. Uh, level 3 Duggo again. Can attack the horde. What? What a great Duggo can attack the horde. I'm excited for that perk. That is a good perk. Don't think there's anything else that I need. Uh, or anything else that I could do actually. Uh, yep. That's it, ladies and gents. We've done everything with these doggos. There's nothing else I can do. Let's get back my doggos with the leader perk, just so that I could do a bit more damage. Fish buff. I didn't get the fish buff as I don't have the salmon, I guess. You need salmon. And I got zero of that stuff. I think by watching Ad, you always get a level 3 doggo. Is that true? Maybe I should not have watched the ad then. Nuts. In any case, at least we still have the transport hub, right? At least they did not remove the transport hub. Some of you said that it's more difficult now, but I doubt it. I don't think they... They buffed it. I think it's the same. Okay, let's get a machete. So we're gonna have three melee weapons. We're gonna get... A few guns. Yeah, these katanas will break soon. So that's fine. Let's get these two guns for the bosses. And um, an M16 and perhaps another Glock. And there we go. I think we are ready to dip out of here. We have two Glocks here, another Glock here. 
Let's get another set of armor. Use the broken ones. I use the broken guns off camera when I grind wood and other stuff. So yeah, I keep the broken ones for later. No worries about the broken ones. We'll use them. A saw blade. Oh, I didn't get any saw blades. I don't think we need more than one though. I always take two, but that's too many. One should be enough. Okay, this one is already broken. Get out of here. Sorry, you could have taken it. It was broken. It was broken. Last day of broken. Yep. I think that's about it. There's nothing else we need to do here. Let's just eat some food. And let's also get the drone. Thanks, guys, for the reminding. For the reminder. Thanks for reminding me to get the drone. Wonder, I think it's about four or five years that nothing changed. Suburbs are not open. Tungsten ore is not uh, here. Chopper is not here. Uh, Bunker Charlie is not here. I wonder what are they doing. I hope on the next update, says Matthew. I have no idea what they're doing. In any case, we have gotten this event. And it's a nice event. As long as half of the people like it, then I like it too. It's a great event. Wait, I wanted to go somewhere. I forgot. The brain is not braining. Oh, the transport hub. That's where I'm going to. The transport hub, ladies and gentlemen. Of course. Obviously. What's for dinner? Food. Same food as always. Don't lie. It's a goop event. It doesn't really matter. I can't really, like, crap on this event that much. When half of the people like the event, like, how can I say that this event is bad? When half of the people like the event. I'm going up against half of the people. Like, I, that makes no sense. So it's a good event. Why you take so many extra weapons with you? It takes some space, because in almost all videos I see, you're still left with a few full durability weapons when it cleared the whole transport hub, says Matthew. Uh, yes, welcome to the stream. 49% now. I mean, it was 48, so the it's climbing up, actually. It's going up. The number is going up. So maybe some people don't understand. The problem isn't the, the rewards. I think the rewards are whatever. Could be better, could be worse. Doesn't really matter. Just the content, the gameplay. There's nothing to do during this event. I'll say this event is horrible. Nothing but a money grab. Yep. So I'm very surprised to see that fifty percent of people like this event. Almost, I was almost certain that that number will be lower. At least maybe forty percent, not fifty. But it is what it is. Another new update. Damn, devs be cooking. Yes, indeed. The devs are cooking a lot. The devs are cooking the leftovers. That's what we got. We got the leftovers. Just new content. Just a new place to visit. As I said, they could have brought back the Forlorn Fair event and they could have added this uh, slot spinning machine at the Forlorn Fair event. And that's it. Like, it, it already would have been a bit better. At least something new. Some different content here. It's like nothing. Just the event. Where you can spin the caps. You can kill the greedy guy and get 100 and something caps from that dude. Every two hours. Drop the rope, mate. I don't have the rope. Well, in any case, Last in Earth Survival is a game made by gods for gods. So hopefully, guys, you're enjoying the game. Well, we'll still have to wait and see what the Easter event has in store for us. 
The Easter event begins on March 29th. It's the laziest event they've ever made. It couldn't have taken more than an hour to come up with and implement it. It's a huge red flag to players. Yep. Is it a red flag? Maybe. To be honest, maybe the people that would think that this event is garbage, they don't even play the game anymore. Right? That's why the numbers are so high. That's why 50% of players like this event. Because most of the people that liked the content, they've already left the game. Only the people... The people that have stayed with this game for so long are the people that will take anything at this point, like me. Doesn't matter what they give us. We've gotten the Leprechauns event. Hell yeah, what a great event! <laughs> Next time, the Gold Rush event, ladies and gentlemen. Why aren't you using the drone? I'm keeping it for the bus. This is the stupidest event. Uh, for you to get the broken slot machine, you need to spin around 12k caps. You need a lot of caps to get it, yes indeed. Say, I just wanted content and that's it. It didn't even have to be big. The rewards didn't even have to be that crazy. I said many times already that the people... If the event is fun but the rewards are bad, the event will be bad. So the rewards have to be good. But I also feel like we should have like at least some content. Well, in any case, it is what it is. Any pillow talk tonight? I mean, it depends if you guys start some topics on pillow talk, maybe. I had my uh, my back hurt today insanely a lot when I woke up. I'd say the pain was like 6 out of 10. And I've never had that pain before. Like, it was a very weird pain. It was all throughout the entire back. However, that didn't stop me. I went to the gym. And like 5-10 minutes into the session, the, the back pain just disappeared. Just like absolutely vanished. And I'm not talking that, oh, from 6 out of 10, the pain became like 3 out of 10. It just, it went 0 out of 10. Like, it just disappeared. That's it. That's my story of the day today. Most of the time, I wake up beat up. I feel like somebody's beating me up in the night. My bag hurts, everything hurts. But I go to the gym, and 10 minutes in, I'm, I'm feeling like a newborn. So there's that. Oh my goodness. I thought this last I'll be able to attack it with one attack. Nope. Apparently not today. I'm sure there are some of these guys that I can just sneak attack with one shot. Like this smasher. And perhaps this smasher. There we go. And now let's sneak attack that dude. We'll get the Glock and we'll deal with them. Mattress review when? I do not uh, do mattress reviews. I wouldn't even know where to begin. I know nothing about mattress... Mattresses? Mattressi. One mattress and plural is mattressi. I know it. And if you think it's different, then you are wrong. Because it's mattressi. Same like one cactus, two cacti. One mattress, two mattressi. Mattress tier list. Did you look up oil pulling? Nope. I did think about it. I forgot how it was called. But that's about it. Didn't have time to look it up. I'm not going to be able to sneak attack those guys anyways. Why even bother? Look at this. As soon as I get closer to them, they see me and they start spitting. So why somebody said that the transport up became even harder? It's the same. Oh my goodness. Here I can just die with one shot. Because there were three of them. And if they all three spat at the same time, if they just coordinated, I would have died. 
But they're stupid. They're just zombies. They can't do anything. Who needs a mattress when you have the floor? Some people sleep on the floor and some people say that it's good for the back. I don't know. Sleeping on the floor uh, will fix back issues. Now you might ask for a source, but I advise don't do that. I've heard some people say that, hey, sleeping on the floor will fix some back issues. Maybe that's true. Maybe. Haven't tried that. Also, maybe it depends of the of the floor. It's very different sleeping on wood and sleeping on cement, for example. Source, trust me, bro. I mean, isn't that a good enough source these days? Sleep on the floor and you'll fix all the back issues. Source, trust me, bro. get a stiffer bed instead might as well sleep on the floor then um, I'm gonna get the Genesis weapons why do I even clear this room this is the worst room in the entire laboratory you should never probably even assemble the bridge here it's stupid it's dumb and yet here I am Okay, let's pop this explosive zombie. Okay, do not lock me in. And I don't know if we got lucky or unlucky. I'd say we got lucky this time because I don't have to kill all of these red zombies. Actually, I have to kill none of them at all. I'm gonna open this up. This dude will spit at me. Okay, it still did not spit at me. Okay, I was able to avoid that. Let's get a machete. Let's lure this guy all the way here. And I should be able to kill it before those guys come in. And then I can re-enter the map. Oh my goodness, why did I why did I stay there for so long? Only two attacks, not three. What happened to me? There we go. We got this guy and we can skedaddle. The room gives drone parts. Sure, buddy. Sure it gives drone parts. Why do we need those drone parts? You don't need them. It's like, why is the dude hanging in Bunker Alpha outside of the blind one place? I don't know, he probably played too much last day on Earth. Am I right? <laughs> Let's open up this crate. We've gotten some drone parts. Let's get the drone parts. Let's skedaddle. Let's now re-enter this place. Use machete active skill, please, says Ryasaku. Why would I use the machete active skill? Please give me at least three reasons. And I'll start using the machete active skill. Three reasons for why I should use the machete. Active skill and three reasons of why did you use the word please with three dots at the end And then I'll consider using the active skill no matter the answer. I'm not gonna use it anyways, but hey, let's just play a game How do you like your pillow? It's goop. I want a new pillow. How often do you guys change your pillows? Actually according to science you should change pillows every three days I guess it also depends on the price of the pillow. I hate pillows, is insane. So you just sleep on the floor, no pillows, no mattresses, nothing. Nice. I have the same pillow since I was five. It'll be 22 in August. I grew up basically with the same pillow, like from probably zero to 18, 19, I probably had the same pillow. Now I kind of change pillows more often. I think I've had the same pillow for half a year, for almost a year. 
I try to change them once a year at least, once half a year. But I get the cheapest pillow possible. It's like, what, $8 or something? It does help because it just gets destroyed after like half a year. It just gets like absolutely destroyed. You can't even wash it because if you wash it, you can just throw it away. At least in my opinion. So there's that. So I have no idea how often you should change it. I haven't Googled that, but I'm pretty sure I can bet that Google will say that you have to change your pillow every few months. But who's gonna do that? If possible, I'm fine sleeping without a pillow. That's great. If we're talking about sleep, then I always used to sleep on my side. Either on my left or on my right side, it didn't matter. I don't think I had a preference. But then I hurt my shoulder maybe like three years ago. And I couldn't sleep on the right side. So I was like, you know what? And sleeping just on the left side is annoying because when you sleep on one side for too long, you need to switch to another side. So I was like, you know what? I'm not going to sleep on any sides at all. I'll just sleep on my back. Just, just sleep on your back and you stare at the ceiling. And at first it was uncomfortable, but now it's the only position that I sleep in. I can't sleep on the sides at all. The stupid position. Sleeping on the side is stupid. Sleeping on your back and staring at the ceiling, that's the best sleeping position ever. That's why I've been sleeping now for the past like probably three or something years. And goddamn, I love that position. I don't sleep, I'm Batman for Gotham, says Martin. Very nice. Welcome, Batman. Please protect us. You should change pillow every two years or sooner. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Sure, buddy. Wait, I'm just Google and that's it. How often do you need to change your pillow? As a general rule, you should replace your pillow every one to two years. But if you're looking to get into specifics, the lifespan of each type of pillow varies. For example, memory foam, latex, synthetic, and natural pillows all have different recommended lifespans. So it just depends. As I said, I always try to get the cheapest pillow. pillow. And I try to change it like every six to 12 months. That's about it, like six, eight dollars. Basically a dollar a month. I pay a dollar a month for a pillow! Bruh, I'm getting scammed right now. But I do like a fresh pillow. The fresh pillow is a bit better. It also depends on the pillow, obviously. So that you sleep on it all the time, maybe you can wash it. But again, most of the time from my experience, if you wash the pillow, the insides just kind of clump up together and you can throw away that pillow so usually washing it isn't an option at least for me pillow says matthew <laughs> be high <laughs> okay let's go upstairs and let's loot the rest of the crates Am I having a deja vu or we had this convo in Discord a while back? Even had a picture of the different way sleeping. Um, maybe. We've had a lot of conversations on Discord, so maybe this is the conversation from Discord. Wash with tennis balls, then they don't clump up. They don't have tennis balls. And why wouldn't they clump up with tennis balls? I have no idea. Interesting. We've gotten gunpowder. I wish this event gave gunpowder, but we got no gunpowder. My drone stopped existing. Help, what do you mean it stopped existing? Maybe you need to charge it? Try to charge it. And come back next time when it's charged. Try to restart it. No, no. Okay, it's dead. It's 
sleeping on your back is risky because sleep paralysis can happen. Okay, so sleeping on your back is risky. Sleeping is risky. You can die in your sleep. Eating bread is bad because it has too much fiber. Fiber is overrated. People don't need fiber. Eating meat is bad because of a lot of reasons. Planet and your body doesn't need meat to survive. Eating eggs is also bad because too much cholesterol. Eating pasta is bad because too much carbs. Uh, eating sugar is also bad because the insulin and everything. Breathing air is also kind of bad. It depends where you live. Breathing air in cities is bad because it's bad quality. Breathing forest air is also bad because of reasons. God damn. What am I supposed to do then? Bro just summed up. Yep, it just summed up the internet. There's nothing you can do that's going to be healthy. You die in like 80 or whatever years, like depends. If you're lucky, you'll survive to 100. If you're not so lucky, then I guess you'll live less. But let's say 80 years, like you, you'll die in 80 years no matter what you do, right? If you sleep on your back, if you sleep on your side, if you eat eggs or you don't eat eggs, people will die regardless. So eat and do whatever you want. Pick your poison and live your life. Smash like, smash subscribe for more motivational quotes. I find found the conversation about the sleeping. It's from 2020. Okay. I think I maybe remember having that conversation, but I don't know. Why are you taking the stop signs? Uh, I don't want to come back off camera to, for the stop signs, so I'll get them now. Touch grass instead of breathing air. Actually, grass is also bad. It has bacteria. Yeah, these guys are different. Sailors are the same, but midshipmen's have a different running animation. Look at them. They do look different. Like some of you said, they look like toddlers. They do run like toddlers. The leading cause of death is life. A little known fact. Yep. They want to hug you. Every zombie wants to hug me. But yeah, these guys want to hug me especially. They are especially keen to hug me. In any case. Let's keep going. Okay, they just stood up. Oh, they do restore their health. Excuse me, sir. Of course they do. They have so much armor. They do have a lot of armor. They do a lot of damage. It is ridiculous. Okay, let's open up this crate. Usually it's one of the better crates that you can find in the transport hub. This echo crate is a good crate. Uh, we've gotten two guns here. As I said, it's a nice crate. Like some crates that you can get from killing the boss are worse than this crate. This crate is bloody awesome. And if you think it's awesome, smash like, smash subscribe. Okay, let's open up this. Uh, oh, there's just a crawler inside. Okay. Let's deal with the crawler. It had nothing useful there. So this will be the boss then. Is this the miner boss or the butcher boss? Oh, Lord. This dude is so annoying. Back to the pillow thing. Yeah, back to the pillow topic. So I haven't changed my pillow in a while and it is a bit annoying now. That's all I have to say about it. OK, 
Okay, so the drone does damage it a bit. What if I get a shotgun or something else? I don't have a shotgun or something else. Nice anti rad I feel refreshed now. Yep, I'm glad I popped that anti rad Okay, so the dude's gonna go and heal up very soon, as soon as his health drops below 1,000. Ah! Okay, let's... Let that butcher go. Go and go and feed. When will you start a new game from the beginning, says Darren. Uh, which game? Last on Earth? When will I start another account? I don't know. Maybe when we get a new update, the helicopter update. Have you noticed that the minor boss is much better to kill than the butcher? Uh, yep. Okay, let's get the drone here. Actually, the drone is at the bad position. Can you just stay in the middle and shoot? This is such a stupid drone. Okay, now here perhaps the drone will stay just in the middle. There it goes, it's doing its thing. Go and keep shooting. Okay, the drone just left. Now let's try to get the drone again, and let's try to bring it somewhere to the middle. There we go, now that's better. Now the butcher is easier to kill. Uh, why the butcher is easier to kill? I am a little bit confusion. You can wall trick the miner a lot easier than the butcher. Uh, what about the only melee account? Oh, that account is is dead. Nobody cared about those series, so we're not going to continue with the melee only. Plus, it was stupid anyways. If I had done that challenge maybe many years ago, maybe then, but it's like way too late to do that challenge. It's not even a challenge, so it doesn't matter. Can you get the drone on your free-to-play account? Perhaps. You can get the drone on your free to play account, absolutely. Just progress through the survivor's path and do the laboratory and you'll be able to get it. Do guns only. Yeah, guns only challenge would be actually more fun than melee only. But as I said, this game doesn't really have any challenges. It doesn't have gameplay, it doesn't have content. The only gameplay and only content this game has is how to get rich and how to get loot in this game. This is not a game that has any challenges. It's not seven days to die. It's not like any other survival game. You just get loot. You gotta get rich. People don't really care about like other challenges and other things. If you're not showing them how to spear, trick, bunker alpha, it's not really content. It's not really, that's not what people care about in the last day on earth. So we can open up this Genesis crate, which I think is a nice crate. Yeah, let's open up the fourth crate. I think you guys would agree that I should open up the fourth crate. So let's get it. And we've got an, three guns this time. And sadly, no crane keys. Disappointed. All I wanted is a crane key. Was that too much to ask? I just wanted a crane key. Can you get the drone on your free to play? Account? Yes, as I mentioned, progress through the survivor's path. Uh, clear the laboratory and do it. Clear only B A1 and A2 sectors to get the things easier. To get the flight controllers easier. Why am I bringing these things? Whatever, I'll bring them back home. But will you get the drone? I already have the drone. It's 
like here's more seaweed. We didn't even get seaweed. Actually, we did get eight seaweed. I didn't even notice that. Hell yeah! Ten out of ten crate. More seaweed. Do I need the spices? I mean, I could take them. I won't even know where to store them in the base. So I'll get plastic instead. But will you get the drone on your free to play? Says Filippa. What does it say up there? What does it say up there, Filippa? That's what I thought. Don't you get the batteries? We have a lot of batteries at the base, but hey, let's get the batteries. Thanks for the reminder. But hey, all the jokes aside, I don't really care that much about my free-to-play account. It's boring. I've already grinded here for seven years on this account. Why do I need to grind on my other account? I would probably do this if people actually cared about it. The free-to-play... People don't really care for free-to-play content past Bunker Alpha and past you get the chopper. Oh yeah, batteries, because you're out of copper. Yep, that's why I'm getting more batteries to have even more copper. Can we clear the motel? Sorry. Guys, stop it! I do not like the motel. I despise the motel. Maybe despise is a very strong word, but I do not like the motel. This game has multiplayer, right? Is it possible to, like, team up with friends and build a base? No. I swear there are types of guild feature, right? No. Multiplayer is bad in this game, that's it. If you want a multiplayer and build bases with your friends, check out Frostborn. That game allows you to play with friends and build bases kind of together. Well, you'll have each your uh, your own base, but you can see it on the map together. The motel. Why would anybody go to the motel? There are so many other things that you can do instead of clearing that motel. Do you play Daisy? I have made a couple of videos on Daisy. Might make more. Perhaps. Uh, where do I store plastics? Definitely not here. I'll store the lead. This, uh, plastics. Batteries go up there. Motel for the nades. Screws and glue. Hell yeah. I mean, the motel is fine to get the grenade. Like, when I say the motel is bad, I'm not- I don't mean that the grenade is bad. Obviously, the grenade is cool. Uh, okay, the batteries go there. I just mean content-wise, Motel is pretty boring. Frostburn is 100% pay to win, won't recommend it to my worst enemy, says Alex. <laughs> Woof, I did not hear anybody say that. I <laughs> wouldn't recommend it to my worst enemy. Guys, is that true? Do you agree with Alex? Is Frostborn pay to win and you wouldn't recommend it to your worst enemy? Is it true, ladies and gentlemen? And finally, the drone parts. After 84 years, I finally sorted out the inventory. We finally did it. We've beaten the game. I would recommend days before to my enemies. Days before. Seems similar, but I don't remember. How do you have 10 witches? Ed, we fought it. We fought her many times.
third floor, three deals with the dealer. We won't be able to do the raids anyways. Because we don't have enough uh, stuff to skip. And I knew that we have some stuff in the chopper. Wait, let's get rid of this. It's like, this is the thought, the song that I told you about. Doom, da, da, doom, doom. It's the new Emperor's Nikes. That's how it's called. I don't have space to store these Genesis weapons. Okay, let's move the Genesis weapons up into this crate. And now we have the settlement. We haven't done anything in the settlement today yet. The settlement is crying there in the corner. It's like waffles or pancakes. I... Don't matter. Comes out the same on the other end anyways. That's probably the most based take I've had today. Smash like, smash subscribe if you think that take was based. Am I hungry again? Yep, we gotta eat. Crepes. Uh, aren't crepes pancakes? For me, a pancake is a crepe. Kinda, but crepes are crepes. Crepes are usually smaller, thinner. Not smaller. Uh, let's go there. And there was a comment that I started reading, but I don't see it. Out of all the new things added to a major update, what would you want? Helicopter, suburbs, or bunker, Charlie? I mean, saying that I want a helicopter is... is implying that I want bunker, Charlie, and I want, like, more content. If I just get the helicopter and nothing else, then helicopter is pointless. The suburbs are kind of cool. I mean, I just want Bunker Charlie, right? But when I say Bunker Charlie, we're also getting the helicopter. So helicopter and Bunker Charlie, so that those things finally come out. I also want the suburbs. And I should definitely put on my clown wig when I talk about those things. <laughs> We've just gotten one of the best events ever. I am a clown hoping for more. We've gotten this Leprechauns event. Why do I need anything else? Why would we need anything else? We got the drone. Why do we need the heli? Exactly. I am a clown for, for wanting more. Will you play Project Zomboid modded? There are tons of amazing mods. There are definitely tons of amazing mods in Project Zomboid. That is true. Okay, let's get the daily rewards. And let's go back to the base and let's try to get some ash trees, I guess. We should just make like 20 drones to carry us to Bunker, Charlie. We have a boat. We could get there by boat. I'm pretty sure we could get there by boat. With enough willpower, you can do anything. Can I summon the helicopter? Maybe. I'm a simple man. I see a drone. I call it a helicopter. Yep. We have a helicopter at home. That's the drone. Can you enter Bunker Charlie? No, Bunker Charlie is on the map, but you cannot go there. It's not in the game. But sorry, I can literally see it. There was a conversation once. Somebody said that, hey, Psych, why you haven't built the helicopter? And I'm like, oh, it's not in the game. And the dude is like, dum dum, just scroll. It's here. It is in the game, ladies and gentlemen. Like, it's it's in the blueprints menu, but you cannot craft it because tungsten is not in the game. But Psych, the tungsten is here. It's showing. No, you, tungsten is not in the game. That's why we cannot craft the helicopter. And there's nothing beyond that helicopter. The helicopter, they haven't implemented the helicopter. It's helicopter that you ordered, but it arrived like that. Yep, ordered the helicopter and got in the drone. Heal you. Mm, is that enough guns? I think that's enough guns. Did 
definitely. Let's hop on the ATV, ladies and gents, and let's go. Let's get some ash trees. How is the devs slow in their update progress? Their updates are only events and not focuses on the game. They don't need to focus on the game or in the story. The Paul, ladies and gentlemen. The Paul says otherwise. 49% of people like the event. 35% of people don't. So majority of the people like the event. However, it depends. The poll might be skewed. Or maybe it's not skewed. People like the event, that's it. Maybe we'll get new content later. <laughs> I can't believe I said that with a straight face, ladies and gentlemen. We will get the helicopter soon. As soon as we get the helicopter, we'll fly to the suburbs, ladies and gentlemen. From the suburbs, we'll fly to the Bunker Charlie, and then we'll get the submarine, and with the submarine, we'll go to the oil rig, ladies and gentlemen. So don't worry. We're gonna get everything. What is this event? 5,500 points. You do need a lot of points. You need like over 10,000 caps to get everything. So it is kind of expensive. Oh no, I forgot to get... Oh, I don't need melee weapons. Forget it. Should have gotten the buff that I had at the base. Could have got an extra 6 or maybe 15 ash logs. The clown persona is merging with you. It's over, says insane. I've always been a clown. Once a clown, always a clown. It's like, do you think Cyric is a clown? And a trash human being? Let me know that in the comments down below. Last cap event was equal. Takes around three caps to get one clover. Yeah, I mean, it's the same caps event, except it's not called caps event. It's called leprechaun's event. So to those that have just joined the stream, welcome. And during this event, you can get around 2,500 caps if you log in daily and you kill those leprechauns if you get three leprechauns a day and if they give around 140 caps. So you can get from two to 2,500 caps from this event. Which is, I guess, an okay amount of caps, considering that you almost don't have to do anything. However, that's also a problem, because we didn't get any new content, and... I just wanted new content. Most of the people wanted new content. What if the leprechaun steals your caps? I have no caps left, so jokes on that leprechaun. I have no caps left. They need to add something for travel before adding suburbs, because look how far it is. Imagine if you need like hundred and uh, if you need five hundred fuel just to get there. We already have things to travel. We have choppers and other things. Just buy more caps. So to buy more caps so that Leprechaun could steal them. Also, I can't unsee these smile faces, ladies and gentlemen. You see this? Can I zoom in and see? Look at this. That's a smiley face, and every tree has those smiley faces. Well, most of those trees have smiley faces. And every time I chop those trees down, that's what I look at. It's stressing me, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like we need a new vehicle, like a truck. It's as if it's gonna be cheaper. Are you even worried about getting a slot machine? Very worried, like... Shaking from worry, extremely worried. Couldn't care less about that broken slots machine, honestly, because I don't have enough caps. Like I can be worried as much as I want. I'm I'm not getting that caps machine. I won't be able to get it. You need a lot of caps. You need like 12, 14, whatever thousand caps, and 14,000 caps are gonna be around like 110 dollars. So what? I'm gonna spend 110 dollars on this game. The only time when I've spent money on this game was to get the ATV faster because I wanted to make content on it. So it was an investment for me to get the ATV as fast as I can so that I make content as fast as I can. 
for me, buying caps to get that thing is definitely not worth it. Even if it was $5, I wouldn't buy it. Even if it was 99 cents, I wouldn't get it. That's so much, don't care about that other thing. However, that broken slots machine, some of you said that it gives 40 caps per day. Then some of you said that it gives from 25 to 50 caps per day. So let's say if it gives 40 caps per day, you can get around 14k caps per year. And uh, that equates to about 30 cents per day. So this machine can kind of bring you 30 cents worth of caps per day. But yeah, if it was 99 cents in the store, I still wouldn't care about it. If it was 49 cents, yeah, I'd probably get it. Anything past 49 cents, I wouldn't care about it. That's my opinion. What is your opinion, ladies and gents? What do you think? What can I do with titanium bars? I'm um, level 110. There's nothing, sadly, you can do with those titanium bars. Actually, uh, during the previous live stream... Speaking of titanium bars, during the previous live stream... Oh, there's the big one. Are we gonna kill it? Hell yeah, ladies and gentlemen. The game doesn't give you content. Make content on your own. We're killing that big one. But psych, it's pointless! Sure, buddy. By that logic, everything is pointless, right? We're all gonna die one day anyways. Why bother? Why brush our teeth now? Just don't brush them. We're gonna shred the big one. Wait, before I shred the big one, I need to get some cooler weapons. Even 69 cents. Okay, maybe for 69 cents, I'd buy that thing. Uh, oh my goodness. Don't you dare to kill me. My inventory is full. Of course it is full. Okay, now at least I know where to go. And how to get the caps. I'm not gonna die. I'm the main character. This is insane. Sure, buddy. I think I told my dream. Uh, the other day. I can probably repeat it again. In my dream, I died. And uh, in that dream before I died, it was very confusing dream. And just before I died in that dream, I was like, oh, finally I'll figure out what happens after I die. So for some reason, I was in some sort of a tank and there was a war going on and then the nuke hit my tank or something and then I died and I saw my soul go up. Like, I literally went up. So I assumed that I was the soul. And I showed two middle fingers to those that have still stayed alive. And I was like, wow, that's it, I died. And then I just respawned back be just before the war started. And I was like, wait, that's it? That's all what happens after I die? So in my dream, I've already died. I already know what happens after death. That's it, ladies and gentlemen, I figured it out. Sounds like an adventure. It was an interesting dream, yes. I'm surprised that I didn't wake up because every time you fall and... Uh, or anytime you like fly in the dream or anything, you usually kind of like wake up. But here I stayed awake. You escaped the ma Matrix, yep. <laughs> I did escape the Matrix. But hey, keep that information between me and you. If that information gets into the wrong hands... Bruh. There will be consequences. Cool lore is that game on Steam? I don't know. There should be that game on Steam. Dude, I can't say- No, 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 I'm disappointed! You might be like, Psych, why are you disappointed? We're talking about dreams. And uh, yesterday or two days ago, I just remembered that I had a last inner dream. So this is my second dream uh, about last inner. I had one dream about last inner many years ago, like four or five years ago. And today was the most recent dream. I had a... I dreamt about a new location. I even made the thumbnail for that new location. I don't know what it was. It was like Transport Hub. 
but it wasn't like transport hub. And inside of the transport hub, there was the big one. And there was my character standing in front of the big one, killing the big one. That was the the new location thing. Why are you lying, says Rahim. Why am I lying? It does feel like I'm lying, but I'm not lying. I did dream about last dinner. Guys, please believe me. I dreamt about last dinner. You absolutely have to believe me. You absolutely have to believe me. It's such a cool dream. I get so many cool points that I dreamt about last dinner survival. It's so cool to dream about last dinner survival. It's so cool to lie about last dinner survival. About last dinner survival dreams. Like, I got so much to gain from lying about that last dinner survival dream. So, yes, guys, I'm absolutely lying about that. It's a 100% lie. It's such a cool thing to dream about LDOE. I always wanted to dream about LDOE. It's a huge accomplishment. On my next CV, I'll write that I dreamt about last Earth survival, and I'm lying about it. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. No more stories about my dreams. Forget it. You did it. Then we will believe you. Make 10 shorts, then we will believe you. Okay. It's very important for me that you guys believe in me. Uh, in my dreams. There we go. We killed the big one. Sick. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. No more stories from Cyric. I believe you. Thank you, guys. At least some of you believe me. That's such a, that's such a cool thing. To dream about last on Earth. He did the unthinkable. Yes, indeed, we killed the big one. Why do you need the ghillie suit in the swamp? Just curious. You run a bit faster with these boots. Without the boots. As you can see, you are a lot slower. With the boots, you are faster. And... Uh, when you have the set, zombies kind of don't see you as much. You can get kind of closer to them. It's unstable. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. But mostly it's just if I wear the boots, I might as well just wear the entire set. Like here, I'm good with the ghillie suit and I can walk. I can even see this guy basically from the front. I can see his name when I have the ghillie suit on. If I remove that ghillie suit, I'll probably die with the with the armor here. Now if I get closer to this guy. Look at this, the dude attacked me. I couldn't get the name. So now you know what's up. The zombies don't see you as well with the ghillie armor. Oh my goodness, can you just split this? That's all I need. Another big one, you gotta be kidding me. Let's kill the second one. Cyric, are you crazy? Cyric, are you not? Yes, I'm nuts. Two big ones. Has anybody ever done that? No. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna kill the second big one. Cyric, please don't do it. Stop it. Sure, buddy. Sure, buddy. We're gonna get one more of those dudes. Uh, let's get the, this and this. Did I get the... Yeah, I got the right weapons. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The second big one. Another story, ladies and gentlemen. So, I dreamt that I was smoking with Snoop Dogg. And then Eminem walks in. And we're like, bro, do you want to meet 50 Cent? Guys, that dream is fake. I did not dream about that. All right. I have all of these cool, crazy dreams. First, I dreamt about Last Dinner, then I dream about the Snoop Dogs. Sick. We're stuck in the loop. I just wanted to get some ash trees, but then the big one spawned. It's not my fault. 
So here with the boots, I'm faster than all of them. Because they don't have the boots. And they're stupid. Sick dream. It is a sick dream. I wish I dreamt that, actually. That was more believ uh, believable than the previous one. Yeah, the Snoop Dogg dream is more believable than the dream about last dinner. I'm telling you, you know how cool it is to dream about last dinner? It's, it's insanely cool. So like, tell us another story. You made fun of my last story. You said that I'm lying. Okay, my dog was tired. 10 damage with the shotgun when I can do 7 damage with the neutralizer? Are you kidding me? Am I getting scammed? Absolutely. Do you dream in third person or first person? Uh, the dreams are weird. That's all I have to say. You dream in, in third person and in first person? Like, you can be dreaming in first person, but you'll be seeing yourself in third person as well. I don't know how to explain this. In second person, guys. I dream in second person. Dreaming of last on Earth is a privilege. Yeah, extremely privileged. <laughs> I'm glad that I dreamt about last on Earth. I dreamt a new location, ladies and gentlemen. I killed the big one in that new location. I actually don't know if I killed it or not. I just made the thumbnail where I killed the big one. So it doesn't really matter. You might guys wait for helicopters. I am dreaming about helicopters. Me and you were not the same. Do you dream with the overhead view? I don't think so. It's like, what would you say is your addiction? Meth. <laughs> I have no idea. Actually, I have no idea. Luckily, I probably don't have any addictions. I'd say phone. Social media. Social media is an addiction for sure. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. I do sound like a boomer, but that's absolutely true. If you scroll for hours nonstop, then bro, you got a problem. And I do have a problem. That's why on my phone, Instagram is set to 10 minutes a day. Because I like some memes. That's where I get most of my memes from Instagram. So I have uh, 10 minutes set for Instagram. And I have only 5 minutes set uh, for Twitter. Because Twitter is a horrible place. X Twitter. His name is just X. So X Twitter, like X Twitter. You got the point, you got the joke. X Twitter is garbage. But I still sometimes like to open it to just like get some news, but it actually stopped showing any news, so I don't even need to use Twitter. I'll reduce that amount from five minutes to two minutes a day, maybe. Because I don't even need five minutes for Twitter. It's goop. Twitter used to be a lot better. So yeah, but if I don't have the time limits on the apps, bro, I'll just doom scroll for way too long. So I'd say that's my addiction. And there we go, we've killed two big ones, ladies and gentlemen. Sick. Did I get enough? Ashtrees? No, I didn't even get two stacks of ashtrees. Lord, let's go back. Track dreams about the helicopter. I did not dream of the helicopter yet. If I ever dream about the helicopter in Last Earth, you guys will be the first ones to know. Because I will not want to keep that information in my head. I just wanted to get two stacks, that's it. We got two stacks of ashtrees, now we can get out of here. <laughs> that's, that's all I wanted to get. 
I might have dreamt in second person. I don't even know how that second person is supposed to look like, but... Yeah. Oh, in second person, so from somebody else's uh, perspective. Wouldn't that be like... Could be like Loki third person, not really. What was your worst nightmare, Cyric? My worst nightmare? You mean like a bad dream? I don't know. When I was a kid, four maybe, five. Every time I'd sleep on one side, if I sleep like let's say on the left or on the right side, and if the pillow touches my, uh, touched my ear, I'd hear my own heartbeat, and then I'd always dream nightmares. There'd be like a huge monster jumping, and every time I have the heartbeat, it would do like, doof, 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 and it kept chasing me. So I was scared to fall asleep on the side. In my head, it lasted for many months, but maybe it lasted for a lot shorter, but in my head, it lasted for a very long time. I was always scared to sleep on the side. I'd always hear my heartbeat, and I was like, oh no, I can't fall asleep like this. So I try to move around, I try to make a hole for my ears so that it wouldn't make the, the heartbeat sound. That lasted for quite a while. And I'd still say those were the, the worst nightmares. Because I said that remember. Because I said that lasted for a very long time. That was my nightmare, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming to another story. Sarek, you're a liar. You're gonna call me a liar again for that story. Did I lie about that story? Uh, something like that. There's a cool video explaining a game where apparently there is some second-person gameplay. I think I've seen that video. A very long time ago. Either seen it or I've just... I wanted to watch it. Let's switch to a different armor. Dude, it's just the big one. Wait, did somebody propose to kill another big one? Guys, we've just killed two big ones. How many more big ones do you want me to kill? That wasn't a lie that sounded genuine. Guys, the previous stories were not lies as well. Except the Snoop Dogg story. That was obviously a joke, but I said that it's a joke. Uh, the bones. The big bones can be here. And ladies and gentlemen, we've sorted out everything. The inventory sorted out. The base is sorted out. Sick. So I should have buy caps from the store. I need financial advice. Why did I read that comment? <laughs> you got me. You totally got me. And we actually can upgrade a rack here. Because we got now 50 ash planks. We need only 40. So which one should I upgrade? This one? Or something else? I've upgraded this rack. It's already full. Well, there is only one more slot left, but that's it. This one is also full. This one is also full. Well, I'm going to upgrade one of these ones. Probably later on. Or maybe I should be upgrading this one. It's at level 8. Yeah, I'll keep upgrading this rack. There we go. It's at level 9, and we can store even more items. So I'll keep moving my carbon composites, my steel, and other things into this rack here. It's like, is it true if you spin 50 caps, you get more jackpots? I don't think so. I do not think so. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to be buckling up now. What else are we going to do? Is there going to be another last in our live stream? I have no idea. Maybe. 
Maybe we'll continue this Leprechaun's event. Maybe we'll get this. We're not gonna get this machine. There's nothing I can continue here anymore. I'll just get extra 20 more caps, uh, like extra 200 caps tomorrow, and that's it. So, will we continue with this event? Maybe. Perhaps. So, take care, everybody. Thanks for being here. 50 caps a day from that machine. You get from 25 to 50 caps, some people said. Then some people said you get 40 caps. I don't know how many caps you get there. But it is what it is. So, you guys, take care. See you tomorrow. Either maybe we'll start more Project Zomboid videos. Maybe there will be another Last Earth Survival video. It depends how Sarek will feel. Sarek is, as always, pretty unstable. So... Take care, everybody. Shout out to all of you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for chatting. And see you later, everybody. Take care. And good luck with the event to those that play the event. Take care, everybody, and peace out. Take care, take care.